Men in their 40s have always been at higher risk of gallstones because of higher levels of estrogen. But younger women and men of all ages now are getting gallstones more frequently because of xenoestrogen exposure in pesticides, plastics, and environmental pollutants. Estrogen is mostly known for its roles in women's health and fertility, but there are two ways it can contribute to gallstone formation. First of all is that estrogen plays a big role in the way that your body makes bile. It tells your liver to dump more cholesterol into the bile as it's made, and this can make the bile more likely to form into stones once it reaches the gallbladder. Second, once that bile enters the gallbladder, it is supposed to be shunted into your intestines to regulate motility, garden your flora, and help you digest fats. If you don't have enough, you're going to have a specific pattern of constipation, where every day you may go, but you have to push, it doesn't feel complete, and it may be a little sticky like a poop marker, because basically, your rectum is now coated in Crisco. Once you bidet, there's no other way. Higher levels of estrogen make it harder for the gallbladder to squeeze out the bile. This means it gets stuck there, and the higher levels of cholesterol that estrogen already dumped into your bile are making it thicker and stickier. Because bowel movement and bile secretion are two of the ways your body regulates inflammation, if these things do not happen well, you end up with systemic inflammatory problems like chronic pain that gets misdiagnosed as fibromyalgia. Friendly reminder, the term fibromyalgia only means your doctor does not know the cause of your pain, or be at higher risk for migraine headache, which is a common problem also experienced by women with higher estrogen levels. So how do we fix this? Well, in a world where estrogen levels were partially predetermined based on your grandmother's exposure to pesticides and plastics, because the egg that became you was present in your mother's ovary when she was a fetus and your grandma, think about that, you can't necessarily undo literally generations of xenoestrogen exposure overnight. But you can limit your saturated fat intake. I know it's popular to say that carnivore and keto diets will fix your everything, but science and tradition both agree that Paul Saladino and Liver King are frauds. It's fraud. You can also eat more cooked green vegetables. They contain higher levels of bitter alkaloids, which are natural, healthy, and delicious ways to move bile out of your gallbladder. They are also an excellent source of dietary fiber, which helps you poop. And the only way to get this out of your body is by pooping. Poop, poop, poop. And you can ask your doctor for alternatives to oral birth control or hormone replacement therapies that contain estrogen. Because while there are many legitimate uses for both of those things, they can contribute to gallstones. You can also use plant medicines, and if you would like to see an example of how that's done, check the video that's linked in the description.